Hey everyone, I'm here today at the Vatican to show you that this church is not just un-Christian, it's actually anti-Christian. In that the Vatican, which is run by Luciferian secret societies, is quite literally a temple of the Antichrist. They use imitative magic to make you think it's a Christian place when actually it's representing the Babylonian gods. Why do you think there's so many symbols relating to cracking through time and space and lifting the veil? Because it's all centered around bringing the Antichrist to the earth. Even the root word of pontiff is bridge and cardinal the root word is hinge of a gate. The whole setup of the Vatican is designed to pay homage to Babylon. Antichristo, the new world order will fail. Why do you think they keep constantly mirroring and copying and inverting these things? Because it's, it's a religion that is actually at its very heart with the Jesuit conspiracies and secret societies. They're trying to break the veil and bring through the Antichrist. is actually a temple of the Antichrist. First Jesuit Pope comes to a Jesuit general congregation. One of the biggest lies of this whole masquerade is that this is built on St. Peter. That's one of the, the, the hinges that it stands on. Um, when in actual fact, there's a lot to say that Peter himself wasn't in Rome and that this is actually a Gnostic religion. And I'm not saying there's not true believing people who are in the Catholic Church that truly believe in the Gospel of Christ have been misled, but I'm saying come out of her, my people, because this is a masquerade that is leading to the great deception. And that's the danger of it. We can also agree on the need to stand up to anti-Catholic bias. They're trying to break the veil and bring through the Antichrist. I'm sorry to say, folks, but those doors are not built for the size of a human being. Those doors are not built for the size of a human being. My goodness me. I've seen this exposed on YouTube before. 
on the surface level, it looks like a throne. And by the way, that throne is not the size for a human being. It is the size of a giant. If a human being sat on that throne, they would look like the size of a child. If the Pope sat on that throne, he would look extremely small. So that is not built to represent a human being to sit in it. It's my guess that that is built for a Nephilim, a giant, to take its place, the Antichrist taking its place on the throne. Remember, this place is not the built on the rock of the same Peter. This is a Gnostic religion, so that the king of it to take his seat in the throne is not the real Jesus Christ. It would be the Antichrist with the throne, a huge throne. And right above it, you can see a portal cracking through the matrix, like that same bullet hole, smashed glass with the spirit of Antichrist coming through that portal. Absolutely unbelievable. The false enlightenment, the Count of it Holy Spirit, the crowning of Tammuz, Nimrod, on the throne. And you can see that the throne is actually situated in the middle of some clouds like a, an inversion, a counterfeit of when Christ said you'll see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven. This is all an inversion. This is a replica, an earthly copy of a heavenly concept, a counterfeit of the palaces, the, the New Jerusalem, a counterfeit material version built on this earth. Right at the center of it is the throne of the Antichrist, built for a Nephilim on the clouds of gold, black and gold, alchemical, black into gold. With the portal, the, the Count of the Holy Spirit, the spirit of Antichrist cracking through that smashed glass, through the portal. And when you take a step back and look at the whole thing, you can actually see that it, as others have exposed on YouTube, this is a representing a dead sheep. Taking the throne on a dead sheep. The wolf. The sheep representing the Christians, the body of Christ, the true Christians, true believers that aren't part of this big deception that is to come. So that is the face of a dead sheep cracking above it, cracking through the third eye of that, which is of course the false enlightenment, the Illuminati, the false enlightenment coming from the removal of the body of Christ from the earth, as we're told that in Revelation that he'll be given power to do this over the saints. So is there any wonder that the next statue I saw in the Vatican was carrying a bundle of sticks? The fasci is a secret nod to the ideology of this coming antichrist who would unite the world under a fascist regime.
It's that same old fascist philosophy of Rome that has already been responsible for millions of murders. They have built also the high places of Baal to burn their sons with fire for burnt offerings unto Baal, which I commanded not, nor spake it, neither came it into my mind. strong smell in here of um, incense just like we're warned you know burning incense burning incense to Baal and the Bible speaks against these things you know it seems like everything that's done here is in some way a direct inversion or blasphemy of what we're warned against and told not to do in the Bible. It's almost like it's some kind of conspiracy. sitting here thinking they're worshipping in a Christian church. That is awful. And the fact you're sitting... This feet to see. I see you all the time. Molech. Because they have forsaken me and have estranged this place, and have burned incense in it unto other gods, whom neither they nor their fathers have known, nor the kings of Judah, and have filled this place with the blood of innocence. So here we are at the Trevi Fountain and even here, you know, if you just look on the corner of this building, you can see that, yet again, IXXI, 9-11, Roman numerals for the gate. And right above the IXXI is that same sun child, the black sun, in the centre of two wings, the birth of the Antichrist. Again, keys, the beehive, the system of power. 
and Flame of Liberty. I mean, this is a blasphemy with this goddess, with the world under her feet. Remember in pantheism, there's multiple gods. This place is full, absolutely full of false gods. Like we're told in the Bible about the temple of Diana. The temple of Diana shall be despised. And ultimately this is a Luciferian temple. This is not Christianity. The birth of the Luciferian New Age. Quite literally, all over the Vatican, you can see the head of this Antichrist emerging from the birth canal. And they do chants, as you can hear, monotone chants, much like you get in the Islamic religion and the calls to prayer, the bells, the chants. And right in front of that throne of Tammuz is the place where they have the mass, where they claim to conjure up the flesh of Tammuz and resurrect from the dead in the secret chambers. Jesus said, if you hear of hear of him in the secret chambers, do not go there, you know, do not go out there. <laughs> 